Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer from my cellar. And today we are going to Akron, Ohio and we are drinking Hop and Frog Brewing Company's um, Doris Imperial Stout. Uh, this is a version of their Boris Imperial Stout and uh, Doris stands for Double Oatmeal Raisin Imperial Stout. Um, and I guess it's dry hopped and first wort hopped so they add hops to uh, the kettle as the wort's coming into the kettle. And this is 10.5% ABV. I'm not sure on a year for this. I believe this is, this can't be more than a couple years old because this was sent to me by a listener of four brewers. So let's uh, open this up and see what it's like. So this beer pours extremely dark and look at the head on that beer. I mean, that is just like, dark, dark chocolate brown. That just looks amazing. I love, love dark head on uh, Imperial Stouts. It just, for some reason, it seems like the beer is gonna be creamier and more flavorful. Um, I don't know, it's, it's all perception, but I like seeing a dark head on a stout. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, so this is smelling really, really good. This is at cellar temperature, which in my house right now, is around, I'd say the high 60s. Big chocolate notes, uh, that dusty cocoa character is coming through and y'all know I love that dusty cocoa thing. Um, it's got a little bit of heat on there, but it's nothing overwhelming. It's pretty appropriate for the style. But um, overall, like the roastiness, I don't think is quite as, um, big as the chocolate notes, but it's got, definitely has, has a roast character to it. Like more of a, a sweet, fruity roast character, um, working with that, that dark chocolate, dusty cocoa character. So let's see what it tastes like. So I do get a little bit of that soy sauce character from it. That's what stands out, um, first and foremost. Uh, it's not really boozy, but you get like this thick mouth feel with a tongue coating kind of roasty. It's not a tartness, it's like a, it's like a tongue stripping kind of acrid thing. It's not that bad. It could probably use a little bit of a chill on this beer because this beer is pretty much room temperature at this point. But at the same time, when you drink a beer like this at room temperature, um, everything comes out in the beer, even the flaws. And I think with this, um, those flaws might be coming out. Uh, I'm gonna go in for another, another sip. Yeah, as far as carbonation and mouthfeel go, I mean, it's got a great mouthfeel. Um, it is a bit, yeah, it's a little bitter. The carbonation's nice, it's, it's pretty much on point, um, but it's got like an acrid kind of, like I said, soy saucy kind of character to it. I don't really dig it. If this were 10, 15 degrees cooler, it'd probably be hidden to the point where I wouldn't notice it and it would be um, really, really good. But uh, this is, this. that being said, um, I'm really trying to find the flaws in this beer. It's a pretty good beer. Um, and like I said, I've had it for probably, I would say two years at this point. If you have some of this, I would definitely open it now. That soy sauce character isn't going to improve, I don't think. Uh, if you've had this in refrigerator, uh, for the whole time you've owned it. Uh, I think that will do better things for the beer than keeping it outside of a refrigerator, which is what I did for the last year and a half, two years. But uh, overall, it's it's got a nice chocolate character to it. Again, it's not boozy. It's got a slight soy sauce character to it, but some people kind of like that. I know Dark Lord variants have had that from time to time and you know they're still selling very well. So as far as the oats that are in the beer and the mouthfeel and all that, you can definitely get all that. It's not infected. Um, it's, it's not too bitter. It's, it's, it's a, it's a big beer though. And I think you really gotta, you gotta work through that soy sauce character. Um, what little of it there is to really enjoy the beer. Again, if this, if I could do this again, I would probably drink it at around 45, 50 degrees rather than 65, 70 degrees. Um, and it might mask some of that soy sauce character. But overall, not a bad beer. I'm, I'm glad to have had it on the show. And that's one less beer in my cellar.